Maxwell Chikumbutso, the Zimbabwean inventor who claims to have created a free energy vehicle powered by radio frequencies, has been making headlines in his home country and across Africa. But why hasn't his invention broken the internet the way it would have if Elon Musk had unveiled something similar? Let me give you some of my reasons, but feel free to comment on some of your reasons. If you are not aware of this brilliant young Zimbabwean inventor, officially launched his groundbreaking free energy vehicle on February 10th, and it's now available for purchase. His innovation is a microscopic energy device that Chikumbutso designed, which converts naturally occurring radio frequencies into pure, usable energy. Unlike solar panels or electric batteries, this device doesn't rely on sunlight or periodic charging, but instead it taps into the endless supply of radio waves that surround us every day, transforming them into a continuous and infinite power source. This means the vehicle can operate indefinitely without the need for fuel, recharging, or any external input. But so far, this invention has not received a lot of attention outside of Zimbabwe, and I think these are some of the reasons. One of the biggest hurdles Maxwell faces is skepticism. His claims of creating a car that runs on radio waves, requiring no fuel or recharging, have been met with doubt from scientists, engineers, and even some within his own country. Critics argue that his invention defies the laws of physics, especially the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. Maxwell's device, which supposedly converts ambient radio frequencies into usable energy to power a vehicle, raises questions about where this energy is coming from. If the device is generating more energy than it's taking in from radio waves, it would violate this fundamental law. Maxwell has not provided a clear explanation of how his technology circumvents this principle. Some speculate that his device might be tapping into an unknown or unconventional energy source, while others believe it could be a misinterpretation of how the energy is being harnessed. Until Maxwell provides a detailed scientific explanation or allows independent testing, the skepticism surrounding his invention will persist. But this skepticism isn't unique to Maxwell. African inventors often face an uphill battle when it comes to gaining global trust. The narrative that groundbreaking innovations can only come from Western countries like the US or Europe is deeply ingrained. When an African inventor claims to have achieved something extraordinary, the default reaction is often disbelief. Let's be honest, if Elon Musk had announced a car powered by radio waves that would be ready by 2035, the world would be in a frenzy. Headlines would dominate every major news outlet and social media would explode with discussions. But when Maxwell Chikumbutso makes the same claim of a product that is available today without any promises that never come true like Elon Musk, the reaction is more of nothing serious is happening over there. Why? Because the world still struggles to see African inventors as equals in the global innovation race. There's a subconscious bias that assumes African inventors lack the resources, education, or infrastructure to create something revolutionary. This bias is unfair and harmful. It suppresses innovation and discourages talented individuals in Africa from pursuing their ideas, unless they move to America or Europe. Maxwell's story is a perfect example of how African inventors are often overlooked, even when their work has the potential to change the world. Another reason Maxwell's invention hasn't gone viral is the lack of visibility outside Zimbabwe. While he has demonstrated his technology to Zimbabwean President Emerson Manangawa and local media, there's been no independent verification or demonstration on a global stage. Maybe now that his product is available to be purchased, you know, we could see some independent experts testing it and letting us know if it's real or just a scam. Like Terry Makasi claims on YouTube that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Chikumbutso's claims over the years keep getting more spectacular. The evidence remains at the stage of here is a PowerPoint slideshow. For a technology to gain worldwide recognition, it needs to be tested and validated by independent experts. Elon Musk's companies like Tesla and SpaceX regularly invite journalists, scientists, and engineers to witness their innovations firsthand. Maxwell, on the other hand, has yet to provide this level of transparency, which leaves a very big room for doubt. And we just hear about his inventions, but we haven't seen a working prototype. Even after the product launch, people still don't know how to go about buying his product, but maybe his target market is industries that build cars. Another reason has to do with the radio frequency energy harvesting happening in this case. It is a real concept, but it's currently used to power low energy devices like sensors or fitness trackers, not vehicles. 
Critics argue that radio waves simply don't contain enough energy to power a car, let alone one that can reach speeds of 220 kilometers per hour. Maxwell claims to have found a way to amplify this energy using his microsonic energy device. But without detailed scientific data or peer-reviewed studies, it's hard to take this claim at face value. If he has indeed cracked the code, he needs to provide more evidence to convince the scientific community and the world at large. But the fact that the product has been launched, I'm sure we will get more information about it soon. I believe the power of marketing and media is another reason. Elon Musk is a master of marketing. He knows how to create buzz, generate hype, and keep people talking. He will promise people a product that is not even ready like FSD and sell his ideas so well that leaves people believing in him. Maxwell Chikumbutso, on the other hand, lacks the same level of media savvy and global influence. While his invention has been covered by Zimbabwean media and some African outlets, it hasn't received the same level of attention from the international press. This isn't just about Maxwell. It's about the broader issue of how African innovations are covered or not covered by global media. If Maxwell's invention had been backed by a major Western corporation or celebrity, it would likely have already gone viral. As of now, the flagship product of this technology is a vehicle called the Scythe, developed in collaboration with a Chinese company that provided the vehicle's shell and essential components. But the real star of the show is the energy system, which allows the Scythe to achieve an unlimited driving range and a top speed of 220 kilometers per hour. Driving a car that never needs to stop for gas or charging will be the best thing ever for everyone. And with modern features like self-parking and an advanced driving system, the Scythe is as practical as it is innovative. Even more impressive is its estimated manufacturing cost of just $14,000 per unit, making it an affordable option for mass adoption. The implications of this technology will be carsy, and it might put big Western companies out of business. If successfully commercialized, it could eliminate our dependence on fossil fuels, drastically reduce carbon emissions, and transform global economies. The Zimbabwean president has already recognized the significance of this milestone, meeting with Chikumbutso to commend his ingenuity. The president described the invention as a world first and emphasized the importance of supporting homegrown talent. The Zimbabwean government is now exploring ways to establish a local vehicle manufacturing plant, which could position the country as a global leader in clean energy technology. But questions remain about scalability, regulatory approvals, and how established industries will respond. Will energy corporations embrace this shift or will they resist it to protect their interests? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, Maxwell Chikumbutso's invention has the potential to redefine transportation, sustainability, and economic independence on a global scale. The free energy vehicle is no longer a dream. It's here and it's ready to change the world. The world needs to start taking African inventors seriously. Maxwell's story is a reminder that innovation knows no borders and the next big breakthrough could come from anywhere. If his invention is as groundbreaking as he claims, it's only a matter of time before the world takes notice. But for now, the ball is in his court to prove the doubters wrong. Successfully started world, uh, the vehicle is working, the general facility is working. As you can see, he's very excited. For the first time, you have the car, uh, which you can also use to power your house or your tools wherever you go to work.